Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Taffy, and welcome to The Stanley Parable. Every time I mention this, I know nothing about this game. I'll go ahead and say it out loud. I think it's probably the best way to approach it. Uh, I've managed to keep myself blissfully devoid of anything that happens in this game, uh, other than the fact that I feel like I'm going to have an existential crisis. Uh, I'm going to play this for a little while on the cave, and we'll see what happens. Every time I bring this up in any sort of chat, context, or forum, people lose their minds. That's inception-y. Either way, I think people want to see me rage. Rage at the meaningless meaninglessness of a game. And I think this one might be it. So we'll probably try to keep these to like 20 minute episodes. Throw these up on the days that we're like peppering. I, we might get up to technically three uploads a day. But it will really just be like the days that I have like 20 minute or 15 minute uh, uh, dailies for like Spelunky. And then we'll pepper in the, the Stanley Parable as well. So let's see. Uh... Never, the end is never, the end is never, the okay, good, the end is, the. I'm going to say the end is loading. Ah, see, game already turned you on your head. I've already flipped the script. Taffy don't bow down. We don't die, we multiply. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly this job, and Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, sure. when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Really no one button. had Push showed up to in. give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say, Hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. I'm sorry, narrator. I can't... I, I can't deal with the fact that I... I want to push those cords in. That's a tripping hazard. I wish my desk was this clean. I need to actually clean my desk. Wow. God, Stanley, why do you move the speed of a gazelle? Dude. I sit in a desk very similar to this all day long doing YouTube stuff. And when I stand up, it's like I've been coming out of a coma. Coma patients move faster than I do. Nope. 428 was always a dick. I never liked him. I always kind of wanted to bang 429. Nope. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, he did, did he? Maybe Stanley decided to check all the other doors because the narrator... No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I already don't think I like you. I refuse to be dictated to. Still looking? Yeah. Whose house? Taffy's house. Is that the meeting room? Last place I'm going. Checking every door between now and then. Mm-hmm. Yep. Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. I'm gonna fucking fight you. Yeah. Yeah. I will not be told what to do, you British dick. Yeah. I'm gonna turn off computers to save power. Why? Because I'm a model employee, even in the post-apocalyptic work world. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. I... I love and hate this British narrator so bad right now. It feels like I'm stuck in an episode of Pushing Daisies. 
One in there. Oh, they were obviously doing some ceiling work. That's probably uh, doing some low voltage wire installation. You know, Cat5 Ethernet cable and the such. Either way. Gonna look. Can't stop me. Gonna touch the painting. Hey, like that. Oh. Big strong man with a, with a narrator's British Eve. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The fuck he did. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this game. Yeah, can't stop me. Cannot. I will. I refuse to back down to you. You like Glados twin? Ah, yes. Truly, a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I refuse to bow down to him. Although it feels like inevitably he and I are going to have sex. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really gonna, worth it. I'm going to take a long draw Diet Dr. Pepper. You know, watch me sit here. You, you, I'll tell you what, because I love my audience... At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. I'm going to put the calm, soothing blue ocean on there while I stop just to drink a drink. Mm. Mm. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. But when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. I might just wait this out. Can I jump? I can't jump. Can I sit? I can't sit. Oh, I can show you all my steam that Nope. Okay, resume. Yep. Coffee? Can I read the mugs? Coffee... Coffee mist? Coffee... Coffee... Nidget? That, that's really close to a racial slur. Um... Yeah, look at that. Looks like, uh... Looks like the, uh, the, the, the base of the Alps in Switzerland. Not that I've been. Got anything else? Smart ass. What time is it? Oh, look at that. It's 11.30. It's almost lunchtime. You know where I'm going to take my lunch? In the employee break room. Because I enjoy it here. Jerk. I'm going. I'm going, but it's not because you told me to. My on you. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room, and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Yeah, you and I are not going to get along for long periods of time. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I actually could use one of these tubes. I need to mail some posters from approaching Nirvana to Wuffles in Montreal. Is there not a T-square in here? I'm not good with drafting tools. That's really the only only one I know. Oh, okay. Well, that seems like a perfectly plausible thing to put up in a workplace. We done with that room? Okay. I don't have a key card. Penalty for misuse of car... Alright, so do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off cargo lift, $5,000. I want to jump off the cargo lift. Look, Stanley, Whee! I think perhaps we've got... No but in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> I know he was being patronizing, but that's exactly how I feel. Alright. 
all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm going the other way now, but it's just because I want to expedite this process. It's not be No, when fuck Stanley it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Still not and doing Stanley it. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I do move with the speed of a wow. cracked out gazelle. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Going back. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop. Stanley was so bad at following yeah, yeah, yeah. directions, like, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Alright, here we go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her, huh? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Nope, I choose death. Yeah! But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Oh, Grayson's sad, but it's not because he didn't see that. I didn't, he didn't just listen to his dad hit like a sack full of rotten meat. Uh, it's because he wakes up shittily from naps. Oh, my stomach hurts. That was actually really good. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Stanley decided oh, to go that to makes the me happy. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. <laughs> I'm pleased with myself. Oh, I have such a bad response to authority. All right. Let's let's do all this. Whoa. What, this doesn't feel familiar. Maybe it is. When Stanley came to nope. a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly yes, well. Yes, he did. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Where else am I going to jerk off? The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on All his All right, left. fine. Just kidding. <laughs> uh... Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I just I noticed that there was stuff going on down here. Can I look, Stanley? I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone. All right, I'm gonna try to get on this platform. I'm gonna try to jump down to this. The story has been on, about on, nothing but you. Can I land this? Can I land this? Can I land this? Can I land this? Someone you've been neglecting. Can I land this? Someone you forgot. What? Really? Yeah! I'm in the middle of something, do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty shit. I'm feeling pretty damn pleased with myself right now. Alright, what's going on over here? Guess we're going this way. Now oh. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Come on, man. I don't like being told what to do. Nope. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, bitch, I can do this all day. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Wow! Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. 
feel like a what? You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I am feeling pretty fucking pleased with myself Aha! right now. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. This smartass is gonna punish me. Are these real? Seriously? What is going on here? Where am I? What's going on here? Oh, because I... Uh, I'm dead last? You suck. No. Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Oh, you're a Again, dick. Honest answers, please. Gah. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. The space Let me bar boot doesn't it up. jump. The space bar doesn't jump. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You suck. You heartless bastard. Yeah? Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Yes. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. I will battle this man to the bitter. Are you serious? Well, Stanley, is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? You're a sick well, I'll bastard. Say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here, no, here, and then... Not a very good house. 
the narrator. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It's not bad. It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. I do not believe that the Stanley Parable has tricked me into putting Minecraft of sorts on my stinking game. Oh my god. Can I even turn the music off? I would turn the music off if I were playing- Oh my god, I hate you so much right now. People who have jumped in in the middle- Like, people who have magically managed to jump in in the oh middle my, of this video, I it apologize. Looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? There's coal. We should probably get that. Just saying. In Minecraft, I could jump and iron. P.S. It's kind of important. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. I am I am at odds right now with British narrator guy. <laughs> yes! Uh -huh. I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. I'm gonna have to listen to this guy have sex with GLaDOS. I know it. I can feel it in my bone, nurse. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. I don't <laughs> want to play Minecraft or Portal. Genius. If I wanted to play Minecraft or Portal, I'd play Minecraft or Portal. I own both games. I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Good luck with your work. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. So, hey. Uh, Hans Gruber, are you not going to let me play, like, Portal? Or Minecraft? Just nothing left but me and my plummet to my death? Uh, Alright, well, this has been episode one of <laughs> The Taffy Parable, where I work really hard to piss off British people without ever talking about the Boston Tea Party or shooting off Fourth of July fireworks from the American Embassy in London. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to be playing a lot more of this game and arguing with somebody who is actually pre-recorded into the programming code of a video game as though he is sitting in my lap. Because that's the kind of schizophrenic human being that I am. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. So, yeah, on behalf of the Mr. Wolfles channel in the cave, my name is Taffy. We will see you next time, and I am out. No, wait, now I'm out. I'm out!
Oh, my sweet and merciful god, that's such a long drop! Really? Okay, hold on, we're almost out. Whoa! This is like Outlast all of a sudden, at least you didn't find that game. I'm not gonna go much longer, I just... Okay, yeah, if it's a, if it's a maze, if it's a forever maze, then I will probably just stop. Can I save, can I save the game? Oh my god, really? Please just let this be... Please don't let this be something where I'm quitting in the middle of a really cool storyline. I would hate that, because we've... I don't want to sit through Minecraft again. No offense, Minecraft guys. Oh, if he starts talking again, I'm gonna be pissed. I just don't want there to be any more. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait.